looking on their tablets online. That is the thing, right? Back in the day, we didn't do that. But joining dating apps has become almost as popular as talking on other sites like Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. Tech experts say the apps, though, can be far more dangerous because when you are looking for love, you tend to share more. Experts say stay in the app and wait a while before meeting in person. Everything else is replaceable in your life. Money, objects, all these things, places, but you are not. And a dating app is you, and it is the single most important thing you have. It's not all bad news, though. There are some very happy couples out there. They met online. They tell those stories. Tune in tonight at 7 to meet one of those dating app success stories so we can tell you okay. the other side of the story. That's good to know because we do have a lot of young people working in our newsroom who tell me <laughs> about this stuff that yeah. goes on. And I'm like, don't go. Don't, don't do you it, go. Do you? Not yet. <laughs> but, it, I mean, it's it's their way of it life, is, way of is. meeting people. I'm Concern. You don't meet in bars or even in <laughs> church anymore, really. You meet on apps. True, true. Bars never worked. Did they? Did they ever work? <laughs> Ask Jackie Brown about <laughs> that. <laughs> Leave her alone. This, <laughs> I'm standing up for Jackie. This Valentine's, this Valentine's Day, you can catch a free ride on a, a really cool story. Let's talk about this one. Do you have your yeah, script Yeah, I do. Up? On Go one ahead. of Greenville's buses in exchange for a canned food donation. It's part of a partnership Greenlink is doing with United Ministries Super Bowl of Carrying Food Drive. Fixed route passengers will receive one free ride for every two canned goods donated when boarding. Paratransit customers will get a free ride for every four cans. Thank you for having your script. You're welcome. You saved me. I'm always ready. That's what co-anchors are for, right, Dan? <laughs> now, I'm coming away with all this, though, that Ben's going to make a mean old grandpa. <laughs> Don't you do that. Get off my yard. That, I'm yeah. an old curmudgeon at heart, Dan. <laughs> I'm an old curmudgeon. <laughs> well, hopefully that sunshine cheers you up yeah, a little bit. We're seeing yeah, a little bit of that. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to get a bit more of that tomorrow. Look for